Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Want to improve reading in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top 10 ways to practice reading with our lessons and learning program. Let's begin. Number one, start a lesson and read along with the lesson notes. With every lesson, you get bonus lesson notes. These give you the lesson in writing, the dialogue, the vocabulary, and the grammar explanations. So, as you listen to a lesson, read along with the lesson notes. By listening and reading along, you hear how each word is pronounced and can easily keep up. Number two, read with the dialogue study tool. With the dialogue study tool, you get the line-by-line -line breakdown of a lesson's conversation. You get the text, the translation, the audio, and, if applicable, the romanization, so you can read and listen to each line individually. To practice your reading, reread and review each line until you master it. Then, move on to the next line. You get this feature in every one of our lessons. Number three, read along with the lesson transcript. You also get transcripts with every lesson. These are word-for-word -word scripts of everything that was said in the lesson and are completely free to access. So use these to read along. Number four, download the PDF notes and transcripts. Want to practice reading on your own time? Save the lesson notes and transcripts as PDFs to your device and keep them forever. That way you can open them up and practice reading at any time. You can also print the PDFs out to keep as physical reading material. Number five, practice with extensive reading books. Extensive reading is a learning tactic where you read as many books as possible at a level that's easy for you. And you follow these two rules. One, you skip over words you don't know, and two, you jump to a new book if the current one is boring. The goal is to help you master reading, vocab, and grammar simply by reading a lot without getting stuck on minor words. You can find extensive reading books from absolute beginner level to advanced. These are simple one line per page books and all of the translations are on the lesson page. Simply look for the extensive reading pathways in the lesson library. You can also download these books as PDFs and print them out. Number six, take your time and read slowly. Whether you're reading with the notes, books, or the dialogue tool, be sure to take your time. Read the lines slowly on the first try, just like a child would when they start learning to read. This is so you can get acquainted with every word. Number seven, then speed up your reading. Once you've read a line slowly and are familiar with the words, start speeding up. Reread that same line a little bit faster on the second try, and then a little faster on the third try. Doing this will help you read faster. Number eight, take the reading comprehension video lessons. These lessons are specifically designed to test your reading skills. You're presented with a real life scenario, such as reading a sign at the train station and are tested on the words presented on the screen. Don't worry, you get the answer at the end. And translations are available in the dialogue section. Number nine, get reading assignments from your Premium Plus teacher. You can also get assignments that cover listening, writing, speaking, and even reading from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number 10, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more reading lessons, then visit our lesson library and under category, choose reading and writing. You get instant access to all of the pathways and lessons that will help you master all areas of the language, including reading. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. See you next time. Bye. Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city?
Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. Para el sur de la ciudad. You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the eighth row in seat C. Pila ocho, asiento C. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running? There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Días feriados, tercer domingo de cada mes. You are at a bus stop where you're waiting for the 301 bus. There is a notice posted on the bus timetable. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, the 301 bus does not stop here. El autobús 301 no para aquí. You just got off a bus at a bus terminal and you're looking to catch a taxi. Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? You should head east to get to the taxi rank. Este. You just got a text message from your hotel's pickup service. What does the first number refer to?
What does the first number refer to? The number in the text message refers to the customer code. Código de cliente. You are checking out the hotel's facilities when you see a notice on a door. What does the notice mean? What does the notice mean? The notice reads, do not enter. No entrar. You search online for the nearest bus service. What bus service does the page show? What bus service does the page show? The web page shows a free bus service. Servicio de autobús gratuito. You're about to enter a small shop, but there's a handwritten note on the door. What does the message on the note mean? What does the message on the note mean? The note reads, I'll be right back. Vuelvo en un momento. There's a national holiday coming up, and you notice that shops have special notices about having different opening hours. From when will the opening hours return to normal? From when will the opening hours return to normal? The notice says that the opening hours will be back to normal on January 7th. Siete de enero. Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. You are sitting on a bus that is about to arrive at the next bus stop. Suddenly, a signal lights up. What does the signal mean?
What does the signal mean? The signal reads, please stay seated until the bus stops. Favor de permanecer sentado hasta la siguiente parada. You've lost your wallet while riding on a bus. Hoping to get your wallet back, you go to look at a city map to try and locate the lost and found office of the bus company. Where is the lost and found office located? Where is the lost and found office located? The lost and found office is located on the south side of the city, number 12 on the map. Número 12 en el mapa. You are at a bus terminal where you stumble across a notice at one of the stops. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, this bus route is no longer in service. Este autobús está fuera de servicio. You are at a bus terminal where you stumble across a notice at one of the stops. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, this bus route will not run on New Year's Day. Este autobús no circula en Año Nuevo. You've just gotten off a bus at a bus terminal. Suddenly, a person hands you a leaflet. What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet? What kind of deal is offered on this leaflet? The offer is buy two, get one free. Dos al precio de uno. You're about to have lunch in a local restaurant. What's included with the main course?
What's included with the main course? The sign says, one drink and a dessert are included. You're about to order your lunch and you're interested in the lunch menu. What does the lunch menu say? What does the lunch menu say? The lunch menu says that today's special is spicy chicken with grilled vegetables. El especial de hoy, pollo picante, vegetales asados. There's a notice at the bottom of the lunch menu. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice says there is an extra charge for alcoholic beverages. Cargo extra, bebidas alcohólicas. You're finished with your meal and you're looking at the dessert menu. What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? What kinds of drinks can you choose with the cake set? The menu shows that you can choose from coffee or tea. Café, té. You just had lunch, paid and received your receipt. What is marked with a circle? What is marked with a circle? The circled parts of the receipt tell you the subtotal and the total. Subtotal, total. Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. You just gotten off a plane and are walking through the bus terminal of the airport. There's a stall where you can exchange money at the bus terminal. 
You attempt to do so, but the staff member first hands you a form to fill out instead. What information do you need to fill out to complete the form? What information do you need to fill out to complete the form? The form states that you need to fill out your name, the date, the currency, the amount, and signature. Nombre, fecha, moneda, cantidad, firma. You are at a bus terminal where you've been waiting for your bus. It appears to be running late. Suddenly, you notice a note posted next to the bus stop. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The note reads, bus services on this route have been canceled for today due to poor weather conditions. We apologize for the inconvenience. Esta ruta no estará en circulación debido al mal clima. Perdón por la inconveniencia. You are at a bus terminal where you're trying to buy a bus ticket from a ticket counter. A special notice is posted at the counter. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice says that the ticket counter is closed until 2 p.m. and that you should go to the counter in row B instead. Esta ventanilla estará cerrada hasta las 2 p.m. Favor de dirigirse a la ventanilla en la fila B. You've just arrived at your destination, and you're attempting to exit the bus terminal. Unfortunately, the road you usually take is under construction. A signboard is posted informing you of another route. How should you proceed? How should you proceed? The sign tells you to go in the opposite direction, take the stairs to the underground, and to use the underpass to cross. Vaya al lado opuesto. Tome las escaleras al subterráneo y pase por el pasadizo subterráneo. You are at a bus terminal reading a leaflet someone gave to you. The leaflet is advertising a new shopping center that just opened. How do you get to the new shopping center?
How do you get to the new shopping center? The leaflet says that you can use the 301 bus or 303 bus if it's a Sunday to get to the new shopping center. Tome el autobús 301 o el autobús 303 si es domingo. You're reading an event guide and are going to see an upcoming art event. What does the guide say about bringing food to the event? What does the guide say about bringing food to the event? The description reads that if you bring your own food or drinks, they will be confiscated. Si traes tu propia comida o bebidas, serán confiscadas. You're planning to buy an instant meal. How much water do you add and what do you do once it's added? How much water do you add and what do you do once it's added? You add 100 cc's of boiling water, wait 3 to 5 minutes, then stir the contents. Añada 100 centímetros cúbicos de agua hervida. Espere 3 a 5 minutos, después mezcle los contenidos. You're at the clothing store and want to try on a few shirts. How many items are allowed in the fitting room? How many items are allowed in the fitting room? The notice says that a maximum of three items per customer are permitted inside the fitting room. Están permitidos un máximo de tres artículos por cliente Dentro de los probadores. After paying for your shirt, you notice the return policy is printed on the receipt. What items are excluded from the return policy?
what items are excluded from the return policy. The sentence means, please note that all sale items are excluded from this policy and are non-returnable. Tenga en cuenta que todos los artículos en oferta son excluidos de esta política y no se pueden devolver. With your receipt, you also received a coupon. Where do you have to present the coupon? Where do you have to present the coupon? It says, present this coupon at the counter at the time of purchase to receive a 20% discount off all items. Presente este cupón en el mostrador en el momento de la compra para recibir un descuento del 20% en todos los artículos. Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. You are at a bus terminal where you're heading to a special hotel to check in for the first time. According to an email you received, what are the things that you need to provide to the staff at this special hotel? According to an email you received, what are the things that you need to provide to the staff at this special hotel? The email says that you need to provide your confirmation number and your passport details. Número de confirmación, datos de pasaporte. You're reading the instructions of an electronic device you've just bought. What should you do in case of overheating? What should you do in case of overheating? The manual says that if you notice the surface overheating, Unplug the device immediately and allow it to cool down before handling again. Si nota la superficie sobrecalentándose, desconecte inmediatamente el dispositivo y deje que se enfríe antes de tocarlo de nuevo. You are at a bus terminal where you're heading to the police office to retrieve a lost passport. According to a postcard you received from the police office, what are the things that you need to provide to the police?
What are the things that you need to provide to the police? The postcard says that you need to present proof of identification and to pay a small fee. Prueba de identificación, una pequeña cuota. Suddenly you get bad abdominal pain and decide to buy some medicine. What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label? What are the instructions regarding the recommended dosage on the label? The label says that daily dosage, two pills per day after eating, Dosis diaria. Dos píldoras por día después de comer. The day after ordering an item online, you receive an email notification. How can you track your package? How can you track your package? The email says that you can track your package on this website by logging into your account, and after logging in, click on your order history and enter the order number found in this email. Puede monitorear su paquete en este sitio web accediendo a su cuenta. Después de iniciar sesión, haga clic en su historial de pedidos e introduzca el número de pedido que se encuentra en este correo electrónico. You are at a bus terminal where you are waiting for your bus. There's a notice posted at the bus stop about a new bus route that will be introduced next year. What is the main advantage of this new bus route? What is the main advantage of this new bus route?
the introduction of the new bus eases congestion for each bus on the 301 route. El nuevo autobús aliviará la congestión de cada autobús en la ruta del 301. You just got off a bus at the closest stop to your friend's new house, where he's invited you to a party. Which direction should you head to get to your friend's new house? Which direction should you head to get to your friend's new house? Although the East Road would have normally been the closest road, it's currently under construction, so you should take the South Road instead. Tomar la calle Sur. You are exiting a bus terminal when a big notice posted on the bus stop catches your attention. The notice highlights permanent changes made to the bus schedule. How will buses on Fridays be affected? How will buses on Fridays be affected? Buses on Fridays will now start at 6 a.m. and will end at 1 a.m. Comenzarán a las 6 a.m. y terminarán a la 1 a.m. Your condition is not getting better, and you decide to go to the nearby clinic. You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis? You receive a medical report. What is the diagnosis? The diagnosis is Food poisoning caused by contaminated food. Intoxicación alimentaria causada por alimentos contaminados. You just bought a few items from a local shop online. What information does the website say about the delivery date?
What information does the website say about the delivery date? The website says that delivery dates differ depending on the delivery method, but all dates should be calculated from the next working day. Las fechas de entrega varían de acuerdo con el método de entrega, pero todas las fechas deberán calcularse a partir del siguiente día hábil. Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Reading in a foreign language is great, but a big challenge related to reading is that you often need a high level of fluency before it gets really fun. And if a book isn't fun, then you're not going to want to read it. The entire point of sitting down with a book is to enjoy it and have a good time being absorbed in the story or learning the information. And that's just not going to happen if you need to look up every second word. It'll take you out of the story, and it will feel like a chore, like an assignment from school where you have to read the book for a class. But there is a resource that you might not know about that can really help your skills, bilingual books. In this video, we'll look at how to supercharge your vocabulary with bilingual reading. This is a simple solution that will make reading, especially at the beginner levels, easier and fun. These are books that have your target language on the left page and your native language on the right. But how do you use it? Well, it's all in the name. You read a book in two languages at once, the language that you're learning plus the language that you're fluent in. There are a few different formats for bilingual books, but the most common one is the one previously mentioned. You have a book that has your foreign language on one side and your native language on the other. It's also possible to find stories that are presented bilingually, paragraph by paragraph. The principle is the same, but the information is just in more bite-sized chunks, so your eyes need to travel less to read both texts. The great thing about bilingual reading is that you can quickly switch between languages, and the translation is presented to you, so you don't need to try to distinguish between the 10 variants of a word that your dictionary offers, which brings us to the main advantage. Bilingual reading is great for building your initial vocabulary. When you first try reading in a new language, you'll probably find that you need a relatively high level of fluency before you can make a strong connection with the words on the page. Reading is a lot of fun if you already know about 80% of the words, as you can guess the meaning of another 15% from context and then look up the remaining few words you do not understand. But if you're starting out, you might know only 10% of the words. That's where bilingual reading can help a lot. Here's a way to use a bilingual book. Read a sentence first in your target language. See if you understand it. If you do, think about the meaning of some of the key words. Then, quickly glance on the other side of the page and check the translation. This way, you'll be able to have fun reading and learn contextual vocabulary at the same time. Let's look at why it works well if you're learning a language at home. If you're taking language classes, then your teacher sometimes supports you in a similar way to the translated page. When you're reading a text with your teacher, you can ask them questions whenever you do not understand something. They'll give you a translation quickly and can share other ways in which a word can be used. But if you're learning from home, you don't have that advantage. Bilingual reading offers the same benefits, as you can quickly check the translation of a sentence and see what each word means. The main goal of bilingual books is to bridge the gap between the beginner and intermediate to more advanced levels. They can help set you up to read real books without any translations. Some language purists might recommend you read only stories that were originally written in your target language, but any book you enjoy is best to encourage your studies. Use bilingual reading to improve your vocabulary and reading comprehension skills until you get so good that you don't need it anymore. It doesn't matter what language you're learning. Bilingual reading works for every language. The principles of language learning don't change, only the implementation does. You also don't really need too much knowledge at the start. If you like a real challenge, then you could even start reading some simple bilingual stories without any prior experience in a language. However, just as with other language programs and courses, the more people who speak a specific language, the easier it'll be to find bilingual books. Bilingual reading can be a great addition to your normal study routine, and it can give you an idea of where you are in your studies and what goals to consider. But for even more ways to learn a new language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language.
And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.